Hey guys, I just wanted to say thank you real quick for checking out our channel, Family Geek UK. Today we're going to be checking out some cool Ghostbuster collectibles. First we have the Ecto goggles and then we'll be looking at the PK meter. <laughs> cool. So first up we've got a pair of Ecto goggles. Now these are made by Rubies. They used to be made by Spirit. Uh, they're pretty much identical to the ones by Rubies, but uh, there is a few subtle changes. So, the goggle itself is made out of plastic. It's got a rubberized uh, face guard and adjustable elasticated bands. As you can see, there's some quite nice paint detailing on the front. Now, I've seen a couple of these where the paints looked a little bit slapdash. Now, I think I might have been quite lucky with these ones. I managed to pick these up about two months ago for about £25, so I think that's a pretty reasonable price. So, I will just put these goggles on. Okay, so the goggle itself fits quite nicely onto the head. It's pretty stable, obviously you can tighten it to uh, a, a wide range of head sizes. Uh, one cool feature which I really like with these is this switch here you just turn it forward and the right eye illuminates green so this is really cool it's uh, quite effective it looks great in photographs but my only criticism is there's a small LED shining in your eye now in this sort of light it's not that much of an issue but if you're using these in a in a dark place maybe in a convention center um, this this is gonna hurt your eye after a couple of minutes All in all, I'm really impressed with these. Um, there's definitely room for modification. I think what I'm gonna do is have a look on Etsy or um, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, places like that for some uh, decent stickers first. Because uh, sadly, these don't come with any stickers on them. So I think once I've got some stickers on, uh, I think these will look pretty cool. I have recently seen a, a kit as well where you can upgrade them to look like the Ecto Goggles in Ghostbusters Afterlife or Legacy or wherever you're from. There's lots of different names for the film. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to have a play around with these and uh, maybe revisit it again in a, a couple of months. Okay guys, next we have the PKE meter. Now, I hadn't done any research before buying this. I was expecting it to be more toy-like, a bit like the miniature PKE meter where it has this little silver button, you press it and it opens up, plays a few sound effects and then you push it down to close it back up again. So I was quite blown away when this arrived. Now in hand, it's a plastic body with again plastic arms running down the side, a green sticker on the screen. Uh, these are, I think are light displays, but they're again just painted plastic. And there's a little housing here. I assume that's where the, the speaker would probably be. Now, what I was uh, really impressed with is when you press the silver buttons, the motorized arms extend from the meter like so. So as you walk closer to the ghost, the beeps get closer together, a bit like an alien. And again, there's a very cool yellow LED strip that just kind of bounces up and down the meter. So yeah, very impressed. It feels pretty robust. I don't think the motor will last forever. I think if it has a couple of good knocks, that might stop working, but we'll see later down the line. Uh, one other feature it has is this on the back. Now some of you won't like this, especially if you're going for more of a replica, more authentic to the film look. Uh, but it's a little belt clip. Now for me, I don't have a PKE holster, so this will clip quite nicely onto my utility belt. And I think it's not something I'm going to change just yet. Uh, maybe further down the line if I do invest in a holster. But for now, I quite like it. Again, the clip feels pretty sturdy. Uh, so I can't see that snapping anytime soon. Um, just so you know, this took two uh, AAA batteries. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, very nice, very nice. Now, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you the Spirit Halloween pack. Now, I bought this before Ruby started uh, 
doing it. I have made a few modifications to the pack already, but for only very subtle. And I'm also going to introduce you to the ghost trap as well. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe as we've got plenty more content to come, including the Eagle Moss Exo 1 build and some other cool geeky toys. Thanks very much, guys.